Uh, we do now tonight have some very specific reporting on the Republican side in terms of what to expect uh, for vice presidential announcement timing. Uh, the Trump campaign is now expected to reveal Donald Trump's choice of running mate at some sort of orchestrated big public event on Friday of this week. Now, it's possible that the selection will happen before that, that it could be leaked, that they'll let it be known in a quieter way before Friday, but they are planning a vice presidential rollout event on Friday. Despite their earlier flirtation with General Mike Flynn, the remaining names on the short list for Trump tonight are reported to be three. Number one, New Jersey, Chris, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Number two, Indiana Governor Mike Pence. And number three, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich. Now, if you're trying to read the tea leaves in terms of deciding between the three of them, uh, the easiest tea leaf to read on these guys is the, the big, blaring, nationally broadcast one over at the Fox News Channel. The Fox News Channel is very powerful, very rich. They get great ratings, you know, more power to them, not really. Um, but, but they are in an unusual position in American politics and American broadcasting in that the, the Fox News Channel is effectively the official TV station of the Republican Party. And whether you like that about them or you don't, having Fox have the role of being official Republican TV, it does give us one very handy signal we wouldn't otherwise have in American politics. Fox News helps us know when specific Republican politicians are about to run for office. They make it really obvious. It's like clockwork, right? Republican politicians leave office or they you know, lose an election or something. They go then get a job at Fox News. Then as soon as they're ready to run for office again, Fox News has to go through this big public display of firing them. And so we all get this very clear, surefire sign that a Republican politician is about to jump back into electoral politics when they get fired from Fox News for that purpose. It's like when the white smoke starts coming out of the chimney at the top of the Sistine Chapel. Right? You don't know who the pope is, but you know they got a pope. They picked a pope, white smoke. It's the same thing at Fox News. If you're a Republican politician and you get fired from Fox News, clearly it's because you're about to run for something. That's how we knew that Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum were going to run for president in 2012. Brett Baer got on TV and announced that they were both getting fired from Fox News on the same day. Uh, it's the same way we found out that Liz Cheney was going to run for Senate in Wyoming. She got fired from Fox News. That's how we found out that Scott Brown was going to run for uh, the Senate from New Hampshire this time. He got fired from Fox News. That's how we found out that Ben Carson and Mike Huckabee were going to run for president in 2016. They got publicly fired at Fox News so they could clear the way to make that run, and that's how we all knew they'd be running. Well, keeping that pattern in mind, you should note that today, Newt Gingrich, once again, got fired from Fox News. And so maybe that means he's going to be running with Donald Trump as Trump's vice presidential running mate. Maybe it does. We will see. I mean, who knows? Maybe Fox just fired him for a week and they're going to hire him back after the convention once Donald Trump names Mike Pence as his vice presidential running mate. Who knows? It's almost not worth speculating on at this point, if only because we don't have to speculate for long. We just have to hold our breath and wait. We're going to find out by the end of this week. So your guessing time is almost up. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.